Hi everyone, so this video will show you how to use the IKEA remote and also the bulbs with Hoopbridge. So in this video, I will just show you how you can use the shortcut apps to just use these bulbs and all these different third party devices in one place, even though some of those don't expose in the Apple Home Kit. Actually in the Philips U app, that's the best part actually, when you have the third party bulb from ikea you can still use this application easily and you can access those lights uh, in the room as you see in the app and basically manage them here in the app itself but when it comes to the details you can also easily verify the light information as you can see here when i just click on one of the device like dining 2 and click on the light info you can see the manufacturer here right away and this is actually from ikea so let's quickly see the apple home kit as you see this device has not been exposed here which is a big deal for me because i would want to be able to really use them in my shortcuts as well so what i'll do is i will try to create this in both here but also the shortcuts app so here i will just use my exposed devices as my dummy trigger and i will use them in a little bit from google home but also from my own shortcuts view so in this one i just wanted to show you a little bit in the google home app how you will actually see them in your side when you add them through the philips hue and you can actually see those old devices either it is philips or ikea all in one in the google home app so if you are a user from google home assistant then it will be much easier for your case so you can directly use it or you can just go by the philips hue to use those all devices all in one for my case i just want to do it through the apple home and i want to be able to use those all devices through either the shortcuts or sri app here i just want to show you quickly that i can use these dining lights directly from philips hue and i can just turn it off and you will just see that actually it's already been applied in both app that you can see from google versus the philips hue app so you can see the difference as you can see they're just reflecting right away so these are two options that you can directly use but for my case opal home kit is again it's just a bit of problem there that i can see those devices the worst part that i can even have the remotes exposed all right let's start with the basics so here in the shortcuts app you can easily start your application of these shortcuts right away with the hue essentials if you have that available what i use here is directly that i can just turn it on or off or you can directly have the toggle option to do depending on what you have there Also want to quickly show you how i did the all lights on or off it's a helpful one just to toggle those lights easily and flips hue option that you'll choose in the shortcut will allow you to do that
all right as you can see it's ready now i just want to quickly update that in my widget side and i will just click edit and then select the hue automation from that folder now i can see that specific shortcuts i created let's see that on real life all right so right now i will just try to use this one as you can see dining on and off so this to toggle dining lights as you see and now if I just press it again, it will just turn that off. So as we expected. All right, so what I'll show you here is also this all lights on and off. As you see, just of all the lights and now I just press it and it just turned on all the lights that I have here, including the bedroom lights. So it's very convenient to just use this one easily you know just to toggle these lights on and off with this one button so i prefer toggle feature and shortcuts over the on and off uh, but if you just want to make sure something's getting off you can just use off feature like in movie times as an example i will just maybe turn back on all the lights but yeah so movie time is more like just to ensure everything turn off kind of thing thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe and get notifications with the bell buttons and comments for any questions and new content ideas bye for now